Oh, I am Bob and Crew from Rollcom Campus. I will give you a presentation about activity two zero two nine zero. Percy Polar Bear and Count Caribou's Great Adventure. Percy Polar Bear lived in the Antarctic, but he longed to travel south to warmer land. Percy just wanted different thing than other polar bear did. The polar bear wanted to skate across ice. Percy wanted to ski across water. The other polar bear wanted to ride curl icebergs. Percy longed to surf one wave. The other polar bear dreamed of fish. In the Arctic, Percy dreamed of pineapple pop in the tropics. The other polar bear prowled and growled, but Percy just purred. Percy felt frowned when Percy talked about leaving the Arctic. Percy, you are a polar bear. Your body is made for an Arctic living. But Percy pursed. I want to travel south to warmer waters. So Percy asked his friend Count Caribou if he could borrow his cannon to travel south. No, Nessus said Count Caribou. If you are going to a great adventure, I am going with you. On the day of their journey, Percy's friend helped push the cannon into the icy Arctic water, and they waved goodbye. Percy and Count Caribou paddled out into the ocean. They cannot for a mile until their polar friends are just. Tiny speck in the snow. After many weeks at the sea, the air began to feel warm. You, Percy said, as he whipped his blow. It's hot here, Splendid. Count Caribou cried aloud. I can see an island through my high-powered telescope. Great. Keep paddling," said Percy. He could wait to arrive at the island. How do you think the island will be different from the Antarctic? Soon, the two travelers pulled their cannon to the sandy shore of a tropics. Paddlers! Wow, Percy said. Those must be pineapple. Percy hopped out of the boat onto the hot sand. Ouch! Percy howled. He called his polar paw in the water, but the water in the tropics was as cool as the water in Antarctic. Oh my! Since the sand is too hot for our feet. Why don't we skate across it? Percy asked. So the two friends laid up the skates and tried to go across the sand. Wow! They fell down face first into the sand. Black," said Count Caribou, with a mouth full of sand. Hmm. Maybe we should try skiing across water," said Percy. So the two friends carefully strapped their skis to their paw and tried to water ski underwater. Count Caribou growled. Percy, this doesn't look like the picture in my travel book. Percy looked at the picture and shook his head in agreement. The two friends 
climb out of the water and onto the sandy shore. They are awfully hungry. Let's try、uh, one of these pineapples, Percy said. Count Caribou. They carefully peel back the perky skin of pineapple. It took a long time, and it wasn't easy. But when they bit down on the sweet and juicy fruit, it was delicious. Magnificent! Exclaimed Count Caribou. We should share this pineapple tree with some friends. So Percy and Count Caribou searched for friends, but. The only friend they could find was a bird from the polar express mail service. Look, Count Caribou, we got a mail! Wow! Percy said, smiling at the bird. Would you like some pineapple? Squawk! Sorry, no time for cheese. I got mail to deliver. And with that, the polar express mail boat flew away into the big blue sky. Hmm, that's too bad. It would be nice to have a visitor. Percy bowed his head and said sadly, "Percy was feeling down. He missed his friends. He even missed his an article." Why don't we read the postcard, Percy? Maybe that will cheer us up. Percy and Count Caribou read the postcard together. It was from the Antarctic friends. Dear Percy and Count Caribou, how was your adventure? We miss you in the Arctic. We wish you are here, your friends. Percy went to bed that night and dreamed of the Arctic. He dreamed of skating across the ice. He dreamed of reading cool icebergs. He dreamed of plowing and growing. Percy dreamed of traveling to cooler land. What do you think Percy will do next? The next morning, when they awoke, Percy asked his friend Count Caribou if he could borrow his command to travel north. Nonsense," said Count Caribou. "If you're going on a great adventure, I am going with you." So Percy. Count Caribou pushed the canal into warm, sandy water and waved goodbye to Island. Then Percy and Count Caribou paddled out into the ocean. They canoed for miles until the palm tree or just tiny speck in the sand. After many weeks, the air began to feel cool. Wow, Percy said as he sailed a mile. It's cold here. Spanned, said Count Cabo, and the two friends returned home from their great adventure. The end. Thank you for listening. Fifty M.